Hi, my name is Pentomi and I want to show you how you can export an STL file from Lightwave. In this case I want to export this little helmet to STL. It's going to look like this when I'm ready. Lightwave doesn't support uh, STL so far so we have to add a plugin for that. And If you go to chromecode.com and here you will find an STL uh, plugin. You download this and you unzip it. You will find these two files. You have to copy this into your application folder. This is Norwegian, so it's called programmer, but in your case, probably called application. Here you will find your new tech folder. You open this and you take the Lightwave you use, in this case Lightwave 11. In this folder you have a folder named support and plugins, input and output. You copy your STL plugins into this folder. I have already done this so it's laying here already. The next thing you need to do is go to Modeller and, make, and then I go to Utilities and add plugins. Here you browse into your plugins and you press open. When this is done you just click done. Now you should see uh, STL export and import in your additional folder here, like this. But the object is not ready to be exported. I choose a sub patched object to show you some things you need to be aware of before you export it. If you export this object, it's gonna look like this. And that's not what you want, I assume. So the first thing I need to do is go to construction and freeze. This is going to make the subpatch to a lot of polygons. Personally, I like this to be uh, triple polygons. So I also go to multiply and triple. This make the polygons look uh, so it's just triangled shape and it's a more less uh, problem with triangle shaped. Um, in many cases you have to change the scale of your object. I use uprint and in this case I have to scale this a lot. It's thousand times. So to do this you go to modify and size and I bring in the, the numeric panel. So in my case I need to to uh, use a factor 100,000 percent because it's thousand times bigger. In your case it may be something else. In this case I'm just leaving it as it is. You press apply when you're ready. Before you export this file, I strongly recommend you that you save it, of course, but you also need to be sure that symmetry is turned off, in other case it will make some problems for you. Now you're ready for exporting, and to do that you go to Utilities and Additionals, and you go to S. HM STL export. You need to browse where you want this file to be. In this case I uh, made a folder in STL files. There is a little bug in these programs. You need to add a another slash uh, before the name of the file. Otherwise wise it will put the files outside this folder 
and name it the whole name SDL files helmet. When this is done, you click OK. As you see, it's happened a lot here. It's uh, flipping it over and so on. I don't know why this has happened, but most of the time it's OK. Uh, now I'm going to find her and see if I can find my my STL files. Yeah, and here is the file. I hope you liked this tutorial. Please like it and subscribe. And good luck with your 3D exporting STL files. Bye for now.